Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lyd and I help you manifest anything that you want. And today I'm gonna to tell you how I manifested my dream life. We are gonna do a bit of a get ready with me again because yesterday's video, gotta admit, it's had good feedback. I'm not gonna lie, it's had good feedback. So if you would like to see more of these, please like and subscribe. And also don't forget I have a new membership, well, new membership, it's two months old. But I have a membership program where I teach you exactly how to program your mind and get anything you fucking want in life. And it's got absolutely everything in it that I used to manifest my dream life. So the link is below, but I'm gonna tell you more of that now anyway. So this time last year, I was still in my eyelash business. Actually, no. Okay, where do I want to rewind to? I'm gonna rewind back two years. I'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory. Um, two years ago, I was still, I should really put all these out for one sec. I'm gonna stop putting them out on the side. You might gotta start looking through. <laughs> I'm cracking. Anyway, so I have changed my whole life using the law of assumption and changing my self concept. And this is what I have done. So this time last year, I was still working in my lash business, which I did love for the longest time. But after going to Ibiza in, when was it? July 2022, I was like, nah, I need to get back into coaching. I need to live my best life, doing what I love doing, helping my clients and like living abroad doing it as well. I just had that in my head. I'm like, this is what I'm doing. I sat there at the Beach Star Hotel. I'll never forget it. And there was a woman named Lynn and she was a psychologist and she was going up or a counselor and she was going up and down stairs, like taking client calls, coming back to the pool. And I was like, what a bad bitch. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get back into doing that because I used to do that years ago and then I took a break, then the pandemic happened and I just never really got back into it how I wanted to. But sitting there in that pool or swimming in that pool that day, I was like, Lydia, this life is for you. So that's when I started to get to work on building my business back up again. I created my TikTok account and I just started posting. And for six months, I was really just trying to build up the account and I was kind of using self-concept and law of assumption, but not really, like, even though I teach this, I was just, I think I just wanted to be in the habit of making the videos, creating the content, and just becoming, like, a content person. Fast forward to December 2022. This is where I was like, bitch, you have six months to make this happen. Like, you're, you're on a time crunch now, so it's now or never for this business and I was like okay I need to go full on self concept I need to absolutely transform my identity I need to start stepping into the version of me who is already living this life I need to stop believing like her and I need to start showing up like her because that's what the law of assumption is what you assume to be true is what's going to harden into fact so I had to take a big sit down and I was like what are my assumptions right now I'm going to pause because I need to do my fake down on my face let's go come on you can come with me my neighbor's gonna think, what the fuck? So I always do my fake tan outside the door because it's a spray one and um, I don't wanna get it over my bathroom basically. Where is it? I didn't think this through because I've got a nice pajama top on. How are we looking? <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna translate on camera, but in my mirror, <laughs> it's not translating well. It probably looks like awful, but, you know, it's an accurate representation of getting ready with me. And I just go in with a beauty blender and just blend it out a little bit. Um, and just, I feel like this is gonna look really orange on the camera now, maybe this wasn't a good idea. So my body has stayed quite tanned for my beetha, but my face does not like this English weather. So I just top up my face every other day. And just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're back. So, <laughs> got to December of that year and I was like, okay, we need to start scripting out this new reality. So scripting is one of the biggest things I started doing to change my assumptions and change my concept of myself. So I started scripting out, it's now March 23 because that was three months ahead. I have this many followers on TikTok. This is how much I'm making. My clients are getting amazing results and I am living the life I want to live. My business is ready to fly off to Ibiza, blah, blah, blah. 
and I am not even kidding. I started doing that every night and within a few weeks I had 10,000 followers. I went from like 800 followers to 10,000 followers. And the mad thing is about scripting and any form of programming, you start naturally showing up as that person. You start having the, um, the what's the word I'm looking for? Like the inspiration to make content that this version of you would do. So I just made a couple of videos that absolutely popped off that were so good for my audience. The audience loved them and that was how I grew my following and that just kept happening because I kept scripting that out so it'd been, then it turned into 20k then it turned into the next goal and then it got to like February time and I was like I'm gonna amp this up even more the year before I had been playing about with sleep affirmations and they had done wonders for like overall confidence just feeling better about myself not taking shit from people it was just amazing and then in the February 2023, I was like, I could use this for my business. So I'm gonna start programming in more of the life I want. And oh my goodness, again, within a few weeks, my business amplified even more. And the mad thing was as well, I had been on a fitness program with a coach to lose some weight that I'd put on over Christmas. And I'd only lost a little bit, but you know like the last stubborn bits, and I was telling myself, you know, I am fit and healthy. I am my dream body. But sometimes like, you know, you need a lot of repetition for those kind of things. So I added that into my sleep affirmations as well. I was waking up naturally not wanting to eat anything bad. I was exercising more. I was waking up just wanting to go for walks and being my hot girl self. And that transformed my body as well. Sleep affirmations really, really, I believe are the key thing that changed my life in the past yeah and i have some for you on this channel if you don't like listen to your own i always recommend making your own because i was able to make them really specific to the life i wanted to create so everything that i put into them sleep affirmations are the life i'm living now but if you don't like listen to your own then oh what's that um then you can listen to mine or any other creators as well little thing i don't like subliminals People always ask me about subliminals and I don't actually like subliminals because I don't know what they're saying in them. So I don't really fuck with subliminals, just FYI, because I know a lot of people ask me about that. Um, and I just kept sticking to this version of me that I had been programming. Now the key point is, law of assumption states like living in the end of your desired goal. Now, you can either be really fucking delusional and you can just step into that identity, you can step into that body. I really, really recommend identifying this new version of you. Who is this? Who, like, what are they doing? What business do they have? What career do they have? Who are they hanging around with? What are they doing every day? What are they wearing? What is their vibe? What's their confidence like? Like you can literally design the next version of yourself and you can become it and you can become it quite fast as well. And with the law of assumption, it's all about stepping into this assumption and living in the end. Now, like I just said, you can be fucking delusional and you can just be that version. For as much as I'm delusional, there's a lot of things with me that I need to program in. Maybe because I've got a shit ton of limiting beliefs around it or because for whatever reason I've got resistance. But programming is what really, really helped me apply the law of assumption because I was able to program in these assumptions. Now your assumptions are your set of beliefs. So your self-concept is your assumptions about you. So your assumptions about the world and your assumptions about you are what are gonna become your reality. So this is what you really need to work on. Again, identify what are my limiting beliefs when it comes to me? What are my limiting beliefs when it comes to the life I wanna create? Whatever is limiting you, that is what you need to work on. So I use the process of programming my subconscious mind. Again, I have a membership which teaches you how to do that. It's down below. It's the exact processes I use to program my life and live the life I want. So by doing that and by programming my subconscious mind and also keeping on top of my mental diet during the day, your mental diet is your self-talk. So I would program my mind while I slept. I would also script. And then during the day, I was trying to keep my thoughts in alignment as much as possible. Now, we are not self-service checkouts. We are gonna have bad days. We are gonna have doubts. We are gonna have bad thoughts. Just let them come and let them go. If you were hungry, you wouldn't sit there being hungry all day and just be like, oh, I'm having such a bad day, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. No, you would go and you would feed yourself and then you would let that feeling pass and you would move on. It's the same with these negative thoughts, these negative doubts, these feelings of fear and anxiety. When they arise, 
Don't ignore them, process them and deal with them, either using EFT or resistance exercises. Again, I have loads on this channel, on my TikToks, podcasts or in the membership. Start dealing with them as they come up. This is another key factor into how I was able to change my life so much last year. EFT. I started regulating my nervous system. I kept seeing all these creators talking about regulating your nervous system. And as somebody who used to live so anxiously, which you might not believe because I know I come across really bubbly and positive and like, Rah! but I used to be so anxious. I used to worry about every single thing on this planet. I used to worry about what people thought of me. I used to worry about every single little detail of my life in a hyper fixated way and I would hone in on them and I wouldn't let them go and I would just not chill the fuck out basically. EFT changed my life because it calmed my nervous system down and when you have a calm nervous system you don't spiral as much and that is why it's so amazing for manifesting because it's going to allow your desires in, it's going to allow these manifestations in, it's going to allow you to release the resistance that you're holding in your body. Do not sleep on this point. So I would also do mirror work, I'd say my affirmations in the mirror, I would do rampages in the car and another big thing I really fucking love to do is to feel it real and that's with music. So I would pick a song that makes me feel absolutely Absolutely fucking euphoric and I either go on a walk and I listen to it for 15 minutes straight or I'll do it in the car or I'll do it like as I'm dancing around the kitchen and I will just saturate my mind and my body with the feeling of I've done it I've done it universe thank you so much I've done it I've done it I've done it I've done it and guess what all of those things led me to that feeling so by May, my business was making the money I needed it to make. I'd actually 10 x my income from the January to the May. And I was living abroad in my favorite place in the fucking world, Ibiza, doing what I love, making good friends, making friends that are gonna be my best friends for life now. And I was able to help other people do it too. And I was changing people's lives. Like it was everything I had dreamt of less than a year before. So if you remember in the July, 2022, I was like, I need to be living in Ibiza coaching. That's, that's, that's the life for me. I was identifying with that life. By May, it happened. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm doing now with the life I wanna create this year because obviously I want new things this year and so I'm programming them in. I'm also gone back to vision boards I showed you yesterday. I am saturating my mind with the new ideas and the new beliefs because that's what assumptions are. This is why law of assumption is so powerful because you close the gap between you and the version of you you wanna be. You close that time and space and you step into that version now. You start acting from that space now and reality catches up so fast. That has been the fastest transformation. And bear in mind that I have been manifesting since I was 15 consciously. And I used to just manifest things and things and things all the time. So it'd be like, oh, I wanna manifest this and I wanna manifest this and I wanna manifest this. And that's great, but it can be quite exhausting. And this is what actually happened to me in 2017. I manifested like, mwah, chef's kiss, loads of stuff for myself. I was only like, was I 23? 23 at the time, 22, 23, 24, something around that time. And I had like manifested everything that I said I was gonna manifest, but because I had not worked on my self-concept and I hadn't worked on being that version of me that could accept that life and cultivate that life and take that life further and I hadn't worked on my self-concept around deserving it or being worthy of it, literally within six months I lost it all. And I'd say I was worse off after that than I was before because I'd had all these things and I'd lost them again. And so this time around, I was like, that's not gonna happen to me again. I'm gonna manifest the life I want and I am keeping it because I know I deserve it. So in the last year, I've worked religiously, like it's my full-time job, on building a new self-concept and building a good concept of the things I wanted to manifest. And because of that, they've all been happening on autopilot. I'm the happiest I've ever been, I'm the most confident I've ever been, and I love my life more than I've ever loved it. And everybody notices the change in me as well, which is the best fucking thing on the planet. Your best manifestation is gonna be you. Like, yes, everything that you manifest is gonna be great, but the best manifestation is gonna be who you become in the process. Let me know if you have any questions on anything that I've spoken about today. I will happily answer them in the comments or on a video. I really wanna help you manifest the life you want. And I'm not even talking about like an extravagant $100,000 a month lifestyle if that's not what you want. Your like goals could just be happiness and being content and being confident and being comfortable in your own skin. I sincerely want to help you all with that because I know how much it's changed my life. I have gone from that grief space and feeling like nothing was ever gonna get better, feeling like I was never gonna be happy again, feeling like 
it was only going to get worse from there to being in a place now where I'm truly content and happy and that is everything that I want for you as well and I just want to help you to do that. So like I said, let me know in the comments and I will help you as much as I can. Also, if you have any other topics that you want me to cover, let me know.